today we will be continuing ordinary differential equation so today we will be learning about formation of an ordinary differential equation how to form an ordinary differential equation so to understand this we will see by the help of an example and I will explain each and every step so suppose we will consider an example so construct a proper ODE by the following equations following equations so we will have three equation y equals to a e to the power x plus b e to the power minus x number two y equals to a x square plus b x plus c number three y equals to l x plus m so to remove so there is more so a b a b c l comma m these all are constants so this is given so we need to form an equation so write the solution so we see that it is given for equation 1 given y equals to a e to the power x plus p e to the power minus x so we need to do something so I will write here all the steps or important points that must be kept in mind during the formation of an equation so first we need to remove constants this is important secondly we need to minimum I am writing short form minimum derivative to remove to remove constants and third number of constants must be equals to number of derivatives these are like the conditions that must be satisfied so first we need to remove the constant so we will differentiate it so it will be y1 or dy by dx that will be a e to the power x this will be minus b to the power minus x now we see that the constants are not removed so we will differentiate it again y2 this will be a e to the power x minus of minus this will be plus e to the power minus x so this we can write like this y2 equals to y and arranging this so here we see that we have removed the final equation is free of constants minimum derivatives to remove the constants and number of constants must be equal to number of derivatives so two constants and we have two derivatives so this is the answer to the first so now we will see the second example and accordingly we will follow the steps so first we need to differentiate it this will be 2ax plus p now we will differentiate it again 2a now y3 this will be 0 we can see that we have removed it from constants number of constants equal to number of derivatives 1 2 3 constants 3 derivatives so this is our equation and we have used the minimum derivatives if we do y4 it will also be 0 but we have to follow this minimum so number 4 number 3 that is y equals to lx plus m first we will differentiate it this will be l y2 this will be 0 two constants two derivatives we have freed it from constants so if you had any problem comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you